Once you live in Portugal, the real luxury is the mini road trips and train rides. At very fair prices, you will be able to do across Alentejo and its secrets without the need to hurry. Let's go and ride beyond the Rio Tejo. Alem means beyond, and Tejo is the Tagus River. The sky stretches immense as a dome, undisturbed by vertical architecture. The child within you will be captured by the timeless freedom Alentejo conveys. It speaks to Asian culture, the ocean battering its coastline, the far-stretching landscape scale back human to the size of its livestock. Both become small dots, scattered like stars along its fields. A reminder of human condition, infinitude and impermanence. Known as the country's breadbasket and its largest olive grove, Alentejo is over 30,000 km square long. Its lens of universal resonance teases vagabond memories as if flickering through the Scottish islands, the Afghan reg, the bare mountains of the Moroccan atlas, the Cycladis white houses, or the train departing from Kandy in Sri Lanka. Hike across its trails and natural wonders, food taste its specialties and sip its wines in the shade of a square. Run along its medieval castles in Estremos, Montemont, Onovo and Marval. Soon the fields turn drier and bleach blonde, dreamlike. Now, let's rewind European history at the edge of a wall city, in Alto Alentejo, at 8 kilometers from the Spanish border. Meet Elvas. With strength and resilience, the fortress city of Elvas, queen of the border, scripts its destiny. This masterful example of defense architecture is part of the UNESCO World Heritage List, among which are included Elvas Historic Center, the Amorera Aqueduct, the Fort of Santa Lucia, and the Fort of Casa. At the confluences of cultures and religion, Elvas holds its title from a steady line of national protection against repeating invader. On the top of its hills, it exudes a sense of freedom like nowhere else. City playing such historical characters are often harder to project into modern times. That's not Elvas. Cultural institutions and art initiatives share the wealth of its story and history and show signs of agency. Elvas, a shell, a star, a maze of narrow streets undisturbed by cars where dogs live large nonchalant and cats nap on tombs and hairy walls. Conquests and resistance have shaped the city from Roman times to the Moorish era with its two walled medinas. The Jewish quarters, old and new, are testimony of the trading rows of Elvas, for a time a community under the protection of, of the kings until the end of the 15th century. Later, Dutch mastery in the 17th century helped shape the walls up to defend Portuguese independence. The Amorera aqueduct was built to supply water and resist lengthy invasions. The border town builds parallel with other places, time and geography. The thoroughly philosophical aura of Elvas is felt when rewinding its poorest glorious monuments and its scars. Jose Carlos Fonseca at the Amexia Museum says, why do you think there are so many churches and monasteries in Elvas? It can only be because of the considerable human losses and sorrow. There was a lot to pray for. The Jewish community of Elvas was one of the largest in Portugal in the Middle Age. The free practice of Judaism and Islam was recognized and secured by law. The 5th of December, 1496, King Manuel I signed an order that forced all Jews to choose between leaving Portugal or converting. The Portuguese Inquisition lasted over three centuries. It was terminated in 1821. Fast forward to 2007. In the heart of the old Jewish quarter, the remains of what might have been a medieval synagogue were revealed through construction work. 
Ten years later, the edifice with its 12 columns has become the house of Jewish history of Elvas, a space for shared remembrance and tourism. Around the corner is a small museum celebrating the famous Elvas plums, where José Carlos Fonseca speaks of the urgency to speed up Elvas into the 21st century. When I came Af from Africa, because I was born in Africa, uh, I had some chances to go to other part of the, the, the country, but I chose uh, the Elvas because uh, I think uh, uh, yes, there's a lot of history here, but uh, in the border there, uh, there was a lot of opportunities to, to live and to make something different and uh, to be active. I had uh, five children, unfortunately they have to leave because no, no situation of employment were available here. But uh, I still uh, believe that uh, this uh, region has a uh, future and he uh, will have opportunities. Just uh, to uh, appoint some ways to, to get the, the investments and uh, suddenly the, the development will come soon, I suppose. And now finally a treat. The unique royal plums of Elvas are lavishly bathing in syrup. The soil of the region rich in potassium and its high temperatures at ripping time have ensured years of refined production. The British Crown, James Bond and Agatha Christie showed deference to the Elvas Raina Claudia and you can find it at Fortnum and Mason in London and on the best Christmas tables.